welcome to the guest. Today's episode is very special to me because I have my first music producer in the studio. His name is, can you guess? Okay, let me say this. The drummer boy. Does it, does it, does it ring a bell? Okay, let me just introduce him. I have Chris Beef, the drummer boy, in the studio. You are supposed to have that trumpet team. And you said first. I'm first. your first here. Yeah, first music Come producer. Come on, man. You know, the king always comes first, hey, you know. Hey, <laughs> hey. So today we're going to be talking about you, your music, your career. Amazing. And how you're looking so fly right now. I don't look, come on, do man. Look I don't so look fly. fly. You, and you know the beauty about mm. this? You're behind the camera. People don't get to see you. Yeah. So they don't know you. Yeah. Some people might not know you're Chris mm. Bates. Yeah. He is the brain behind Pana. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be talking about that. Yeah. Let's talk about you. What have you been up to lately? What have you? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Before yeah. we go deeper, deeper, <laughs> deeper into this conversation. Yeah, so uh, I released an album, African Time. Mm. Um, I think about two years ago, maybe last year. You know, the pandemic made it feel like <laughs> <laughs> so you can't really count. Like... Last year felt like two years. <laughs> yes. So yeah. Some people are not even going to add last year to their calendar. <laughs> Someone like so me. we did. We did uh, release an album that was like pretty successful, mm -hmm. and right now I'm working on some new stuff that we're still going to talk about yes. later in the show. <laughs> And yeah, of the new stuff, I just released um, a video. I'm sure the video is playing as I'm saying this. Hey. The, <laughs> the video is um, Time and Place featuring Big Tony and Starboy Terry. You know, amazing song. So I'm on that kind of vibe right now. First of all, where are you from? Okay, um, I was born and brought up in Lagos. Mm -hmm. I schooled in the University of Ibadan. Where are you from, as a Nigerian? I'm from, I'm from the east. Where precisely? Um, Ebony Boy State. Hmm. Yeah. Ebony Boy State. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Same, same as me. Techno. Oh, um, no, I see. My, myself and Techno are from the same place. Did um, you know him from back home, or you met here in Lagos? I've never been to back home. Okay. <laughs> so. So yeah, Lagos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us yeah. about your growing up. Where did you school? How was it like growing up in your family? What, what area did you even grow up in Lagos State? Uh, what was this place called? Uh, Festac. You grew up in Festac, yeah. the music hub, yeah. art and culture. Yeah. Did that influence you? No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it did not. So, because uh, for me, it wasn't about uh, music. It was about the act of um, creating anything. Mm. So. I'm, I'm, I'm a knowledge junkie, like my people like to say. Okay. Yeah, so anything that interests, that interests me, I want to learn it. Okay. You get me? So if I see maybe the way you're talking now, I'll get home. When I get home, I'll probably go and rehearse what you, everything you said. And it will oh. be exactly the same way you wow, are doing it. Wow, that's some genius <laughs> shit. Yeah, so <laughs> I... I learned, I learned to do random stuff. So I just saw some people singing, like... With my mom, my mom used to be in this a cappella group in the choir, like Igbo choir, mm. you know. So, and my dad is Yoruba, but I always like to claim my mom's side. That's why I told you that I'm from a boy state, and that's how it is. That's how it will be. Amen. The end of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. yeah, I saw them singing that day and caught my attention. I started learning to sing that day. So I was learning, 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 learning to sing. And then, yeah, one day it just How happened. old were you at this point? I was about seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, then yeah. you started singing at singing, that age. Yeah, then uh, I learned to play the drums. Then there's this girl that used to play the piano whenever I'm playing the drums. But after the ch after church service, people will always go to greet this girl and not me. <laughs> you know? It felt like, wait, the piano guys get all the attention. So it was awkward then, uh, not awkward in a bad way, but mm. in a good way that a, a girl, a small girl like me playing, oh, I'm a small boy too, playing the, play drums. the drums. <laughs> so I had to learn to play the, the piano. piano to, you know, impress the girl that come on. Did but, you get accolades when you started Of playing course, the... of course. <laughs> of course, yeah. So I learned, th I learned anything really fast. So it has, that has always been. Growing up, what did you want to be? Um, a professor. Okay, in 
I'll probably teach English language. What did you study in school? Linguistics. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. good. When did you start making beats? You learned how to play drums yeah. as a kid. You learned how to play yeah. the piano. So I started making beats in secondary school. Okay. Yeah, but it was hard because my mom was always saying, chill, chill, don't do music. Okay, your now. parents were yeah, not supportive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was basically just my mom. She right. wasn't supportive or she felt no, no, like you no, shouldn't no, do no, music no, at that I time. I shouldn't do music at that time. Okay. She was very supportive. She got me my first computer, my first guitar, almost, you know. Really? Yeah. Wow. That time. But she told me to wait to be done with school. But you know, no. I, I got to the University of Ibadan. My room made it into a studio. So if you come into my, if you come into my room during the day, it's, a in studio. The oh. In the night is a room. <laughs> yeah, so there's this design I did. But how did you learn how to make beats in the first place? Yeah, so from from the knowledge of uh, playing, the, playing um, the, drums the drums and the piano. And the piano. Okay. So I stumbled on a software called uh, Reason. Okay. Propeller Head. So mm. I started touching things, touching things, not knowing what I was doing, but you know, it's just like having a game in your house. Mm. You don't need anybody to tell you how to play the game. Mm. All you need to do is turn it on and keep trying. You figure it out. After school, I wanted to like go deep into the music thing. Okay, yes, you were in school and you're, you turned your room to a studio. A studio, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, so you I, had... made, I made songs in school. I was making beats. I was For making money. Fellow like, students. Yeah, fellow students. How much did they pay you back then? Uh, 15,000. 15,000? 10,000. That's a lot of money. Yes, no, yes. What year, please? It was, it was like uh, 2013, 14, 15, yeah. Hey, you have a lot of girlfriends, so Because yeah. then you were making money. Yes, I got my first car when I was 17. <laughs> Fire Come beat on, making, man, of course. Really? Yeah. They pay you guys so well, even back then. No, it wasn't so well, but I was like the most popular guy in Ibadan then. In Ibadan, not yeah. even in your school. It, it, my school was in Ibadan. The yeah. University of, the but University you went. Of your fame grew beyond your school. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, popular artists like Jabless came to my room, you know, in, to, to record. What's oh, that for? Are you serious? Yeah. You and know, you're in school I'm back then. Yeah. You bought a car. Yeah. Is that car that is in <laughs> <laughs> So when I'm talking to <laughs> when I'm talking to like my cousins, mm. the small ones, I'm like, what are you doing at your age? <laughs> <laughs> when I was 17, I already got a car. What are you doing with yourself? And the crazy thing is, I had to save for it. Wait, would you say you worked hard to become a music producer or is it just talent no, or no, no. god's orchestration what would you call it i mean all glory to god mm. you know but it wasn't talent it was work yeah i tell people i didn't know how to sing they didn't bond me with the gift of music i learned to do all these things you were interested in making yes, it yes that's just the thing <laughs> Was beat making like a form of escape for, for, for you? Did you have friends back in school or you just sit in your computer and start making nah, beats? Yeah, uh, I didn't have no friend. Was music like a kind of escape for you from yeah, the world? I think, yeah, till date, music is still like that to me. I, whenever I, where I make music every time. If I feel down, I make music. When I'm happy, I make music. When I'm sad, anything. Do you sing? Did you sing back then? No, I I can't sing. I can sing. Okay. I write songs for people. Really? Yeah. You should write a song for me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, did you see that this would be a career for you after school? Oh yes, I knew it was going to be a career for me ever since the day my mom got me that guitar. Hmm. So, I told her that mm. I'll go to school. I'll finish. I'll do well. Mm. But this is why I want music to did not distract you from your study. No, we didn't. Yeah, you looking up to some uh, music producers back oh, then. Oh, yes. So I've always been a fan of um, electronic dance music. Okay, yeah. So, uh, David Guetta, all those mm. guys, I, I love everything they do, mm. you know. And yeah, 
So nobody taught you how to make beans? No. Nobody. So yes. at what point did you go to South Africa? Uh, for South Africa, I was supposed to be for masters. Yeah, so... So you went to South Africa to study music, yeah. or music production, audio technology, audio technology as yeah. your master's degree. Yes. Yes. So you have a master's degree yes, at twenty six. Yes. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's talk about the song that brought you to the limelight. Which song brought you to the limelight? Well, if I have to say it based on how it really is for me. You might not believe it, Tell me. but it was the song that Jabless came to my school to record. Oh, Ambe. Oh, Ambe. Why? Brought okay. the other attention to you? Okay, so started bringing the attention to me. Mm. You get, but Pana kind of like, you know, brought New me to world. the wall. How did you meet Techno? Oh, we met online. You met Techno online, how? Online. Yeah, so um, when I make beats, I post them online. Mm -hmm. So one day he reached out to me saying, oh, you, this beat you made is so fire. So he reached out to you? Yeah. Okay. And then... You already made I didn't a see beat? It. No. Another beat? Another beat. Okay. So I didn't know he was... I didn't know he sent me a message because at then I wasn't even following what? him. What? Via Instagram or what? Yeah, Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Because then I wasn't following him. Okay. And he sent me a DM. You know how they take that thing to the request? And then mm. you can see top, but you mm. cannot see mm. every other yeah. this thing. So... I saw it like after three days, then I wrote him back. Oh, bro, I'm sorry, I when just seen this. Boss, how did you feel? Techno. Yes, now it was good now because then he had done if I dance, he had done duro. You get so he was big, mm. so it felt very good. Like okay, ah, blue tick is sending me. Big. <laughs> <laughs> so we we uh, he told me to come to his house. Then I went to his house. And we didn't walk that day. We just vibes, just chill. So the next day, he told me that, no, he was going to come to my studio. Like, do I have a studio? I'm like, yeah. So he came to my studio. Then I was staying in Bagada. He came to my studio, and then uh, we made the song. All right. We're going yeah. to talk about the making of the song just mm -hmm. right after this break. <laughs> Welcome back to the guest. I still have Chris Beat, the drummer boy, in yes, the studio. Sir. When did you create the beat? When Techno was in the studio, he just sat down. You're like, Baba, sit down. Don't no, she, at for, me for Pana. Yeah. Yes, for Pana, it was the, the beat of someone else. Okay. Yeah, so he came to the studio and, you know, God just has a way of doing things. And I was making the beats for someone else. And then the person said, ah, bro, I know they feel this beat, you know. The person said he's not feeling Yeah, it. yeah. So that one just sent me a text that's almost oh, this is bad. You get mm. and I told the guy that should I make you a new one? Because I'm cool like that. The mm. artist needs to like what you are doing yes. for them. Yeah. yeah. So he said, Yes, we can work on something new. Then we started something new. And he said, Oh, he liked that one. And then we did then me, and, me and Techno did Pana that same night. And then the rest was history. So now, Pana Beat, like I said, is different and unique at, as at that time. Yeah. So you don't know which trend, you just create. How do you even create? Where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, from people. Okay, so... Yeah, because I'm like, I'm like a magnet. I can attract your energy to make whatever you like. Mm. So, so most of the time, it's not... I only make the kind of beat I like when I'm alone. Okay. But if, like, if I'm in a room full of these people now, I will try to do something you would like, something he would like, something he would like. But that beat wasn't for techno, and he liked it. Good. Then so, Diana, following up, had the kind of same vibe. Yeah. So for for that one, that's why I said that was a special case. Yes. You know. So if you if you look at "For Life" by Ron Town, yeah. Did you it, make "For Life"? I made "For Life." Yeah. I, for real. Yeah. That's like one of my favorite songs. Really? So after Pana, you now blew up and people were sending you the ends. Yeah. Did people, did artists do this thing where they say, make me a bit like Pana beats? Oh, yes, a lot. So what? how do you react to that? Considering that you, from what I can tell, you like Yeah, so the thing, the thing is, when people tell you, make me, 
a beat that sounds like this beat. They are not necessarily saying, oh, please lift this beat for me. Okay. It would be dumb for you as a music producer or as a music person to lift the beat you've made before for someone else. Does it get boring making the same style of beats? Of course. Okay. Of course. That's why I said, like, most times, I challenge myself to do things that, if you see uh, the new um, Skills and David song, yes. yeah, that was crazy. You mm. get, so, they wanted to do Ama Piano, but I didn't want to, because... We are going to talk about the Ama <laughs> Piano style, but let's keep on gisting. <laughs> So, yeah. but what interest? I'm still going back to that panel yeah. beat because panel beat started the style of beats. Yeah. Everybody now started having that sound. <laughs> I know, I know. Even yeah. some of yeah. some top yeah, Nigerian yeah, yeah, artists yeah, yeah. they started using no, that, everyone, and everyone, it works for everyone, them. Oh, everyone and you started this. that vibe, yes, right? Or oh, am I wrong? No, you're not. Cards? You're not. You're not. I'm... So, why did you choose to use that? I don't know. Yeah. So, if that that uh, thing came from this song. Um, What's the, what's the title of this song? Nigerian song. Oh, yeah! VIP! VIP! Yeah, Are you yeah, serious? Way, yeah, way back! Yeah, way back! Yeah, to get inspiration! Yeah, yeah. Hey! So it was from there. So it be, they, were, they did. You get it. So, yeah. So they Oh my goodness! Yeah. I don't want to remember that song. And it was the same, it was the same progression that gave birth to. Um, Always kids, um, Maya. Yes, but that just was faster. like the rave of yeah, the moment yeah, as at yeah, th that time. Yeah. Then run down came with for life. Yeah, for life. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but you didn't do mad over you. That would have been no, something. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really nice. Yeah. Let's come back to the main topic of discussion because I can just get lost talking about these songs. So, do you jump on trending sounds and trending um, um, beats like? Right now, I'm a piano is trending. Yeah. Or do you have a style you stick to? Yeah, um, you have to jump on trends. What, what, style, what, what style of beat making are you comfortable with? Hip hop, Afro beats? What, what style do you love to make easily? ADM. What's ADM? Afro dance music. Oh, that's what you love to make. Yeah. So, so it's the genre <clears throat> I invented, it's like my thing. So, ADM is the fusion of electronic dance music and African's Afro beat. Mm. You know, let's go into let's go to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Teachers, yeah. educators. Yeah, because so, we are coming to your studio, yeah, yeah. so we can so start we see, the lecture we see right a, now. A whole lot of people doing ADM right now, mm. and ADM is the genre I started in 2017. How important was your master's degree in beat making? Yeah. How did that affect your, your, your musical career and your life as You're a music producer? You're missing me to Jesus. It's not beat making. Sorry, what? what sorry. Audio technology. Audio technology. Yes. Sorry, I'm sorry. Can you say you did master's in beat making? <laughs> in audio technology. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So how, how did that Okay, yeah. So you? that is, uh, is like one of the things I'm doing right now. Okay. Around this side, I told you, I was telling you behind the camera that I came to do. Okay. So, I am into like live sound as well. Okay. Yeah. So, I have a team that they set up live. Uh, I'm a live sound engineer as well. Okay. Yeah. So, that only affected, you know, that part of the audio thingy. Yeah, so it wasn't it was it didn't really affect how I make your make my beats. Beat. It just helped me to like know that oh this is a particular frequency. This frequency is not good with this frequency. Does it look like I'm saying? No, no, yeah, no, I yeah, understand yeah. what you're so, saying. To avoid unwanted things mm. and then the business mm. you know that I'm doing right now and I'm doing, you know. Well, Talking about the business, we're going to come back to you starting up a school, or have you started it already? Yeah. It's in the pipeline? It's in the pipeline. Okay. But we, we have like some running already. We're just looking at maybe the building where people can see it and come. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So, one thing we know about producers in Nigeria is that they complain about not being recognized or not being paid enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, tell me, do you think? that Nigerian producers are, are being recognized the way they should? 
considering they, they make the beads? Well, I say this a lot and I will say it again. <laughs> okay. Nobody is responsible for what you get. You are responsible for yourself. How do you mean? Thank you. If I make a song that is really big mm -hmm. and uh, let's say something happened and you couldn't get as much as you would have wanted to or as much as you were expecting to get. Mm -hmm. Put a lot of work into yourself. People will pay you for who you are. They will pay, uh, reinvent yourself. So you, you shouldn't me? look at the song you have done that is going far Stop and wide. looking at... But, 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 but the best some thing, the best thing is, cheated. the best thing, good, is of course, mm -hmm. because you didn't protect yourself. How do you protect yourself? So you protect yourself like ensuring that you understand, because the, uh, the relationship between an artist and the producer is like marriage. Okay. You need to understand what you're doing. Oh, we love ourselves. We want to vibe. Do you understand? But we still need to take care of kids. Mm. So the kid is the music. Mm. So in as much as, oh, I don't like what you did to me yesterday or this thing, we still need to take care of this. So your publishing is very important. Your publishing will protect you for the 90 years if you be alive. So you get paid royalties? Yeah. Uh-uh. Are you serious? Yeah. You get your royalties? Yeah. From every artist? I just artist. collected another one last week. Uh -uh. Are you serious? That's how... From every artist? Yeah, oh, that's that how... the big artists? No, that's how you should keep up. That's what will sustain so my you. My song now with you, you're going to sign that and you're going to get royalties. For oh. you? Yes, the song we are making together. I'll collect my publishing rights. Okay. Mechanical rights. Okay. Mechanical rights are the ones that you get from streaming platforms. Okay. I will collect uh what? Maybe some part of your performance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get that? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, but if I'm signed but under if, your record yeah, label. No, 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 not if you're signed. Like when there are I'm some signed. deals. <laughs> There are some deals that, you know, you can get. It depends on the agreements that oh. you have. So that one is good. Maybe you have an artist and then... Oh. When did you start signing? When did you learn about these rights and royalties? And when did you start implementing them? Yeah, I've always had like a very strong structure even before I blew up. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's really... Yeah, my manager that is with me today was with me. Like, it was part of the team that came to my school that year. Okay. Yeah, so he saw something and we're making millions together now. For shame. So it means that Nigerian producers, are, we, we are adopting the international style. So with time, we won't see a producer that was big before and now he's struggling to make no, ends meet. No, no, no. So as long as that song is blowing, you self, you are yeah, blowing. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. I, I, and the, the Chris Beats blueprint is there for any producer that wants to make, you know, uh, music. And, Are you going yeah. to teach your students how the, this business side of production when yeah. they come to your school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you have like um, different courses to choose from. So you can decide to do that if you want. Okay, let's talk about your latest album, Gen Z. Why did you title it Gen Z? Uh, when I came into the studio, you said I've been working, like I've, I'm working with all these. Mm, then Babas. Yes. You know, so. <laughs> I, I feel it's only right for me to like work with the new guys since they are like people my age. Are you going to work with upcoming artists that we've never heard about? Of course. Bring them to the limelight? Yes, of course. Wow, we'll of look course. forward to that. Yeah, of course. So welcome to the game segment. On this segment, we're going to pop out the lyrics of some songs. You mm -hmm. read them out and you guess the name of the song okay. and the artist. Okay. You said you listen to every genre of mu music, mm, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So you should be, this should be easy. Something go do you, something go do you. What I go choke you. Chanda go wire you. Something go do you, something go do you. What I go choke you, something go do you. Who? You tell me. I don't know. You don't know the name of the artist or you don't maybe because you are not singing it yes that's the idea now oh something go do you something go do you what i go to i don't know the song go. i'm trying to you should you should know the kind of 
You should know the artist okay, that Okay, give me a give. clue. Listen, you've worked with this person. I might know the person, but I don't know these lyrics. I don't. Allow me to enjoy myself. <laughs> Allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Something go do you. Ah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is um, Enjoy by Techno. Let's yeah, go to the next one. Enjoy. You have to think deep. You have to be deep. I can feel it in my veins now. I can feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my liver. From my head down to my toes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mama said the feeling was to catch you. Happy music. Um, this is an artist. This song is done by an, an artist you've worked with. I'm going to try to sing this song. I can feel it in my veins now. Feel it in my soul. I can feel it in my liver. From my head down to my toes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mama said the feeling must to catch you. If true love be a, if true love day. And if baby say something that they happen, oh mama, they get. <laughs> you sound like you know the song? Okay, what's the title of the song? It's true love. Uh, I gave this. Did this score anything here? Oh, please don't put that clap sound. This. <laughs> yes, that's the song. That's the song. That's the song. That's the song. Yeah, yeah. You didn't get this though. Ah, song where I played the instrument that with my mom. I sang the whole song for you. Next one. You've worked with this artist too. Is it? No. <laughs> Not that lyrics. Davido. Hey, you got this one. High five. Hey, finally. What's the name of the song? Yes, that's yes, the song. Yes, yes, yes. Next one, please. Final, final, final. We could go the same pay. For, for some this big mood with Butchie. The big mood. There's a vibe having you on the show. Thank you. Do you want to say anything to your fans? Yes. Potential um, students. <laughs> yeah. Before we wrap up. So, uh, yeah. If you are interested in making anything music, you know, we got you covered. But, you know, it's a school that's why the reason why it's not running yet i forgot to say is because we're trying to get the government's um, approval so that we can mm. you know this is one of the most entertaining episodes ever because chris beats is a vibe and i'm coming to his studio very soon we're doing a part two in his studio live in his studio he's going to be teaching us how to make beats yes. and i am going to be making a beat i yes, am going will. to be a music producer yes you a will. singer Yes. An artist? A songwriter. A songwriter? What else again? And a singist. I don't want to be a singist. A singist is someone who sings. I don't want to be a singist. I'm okay with the other four we called this. Like, okay. Yeah. So before we wrap up, do you have anything to say to your fans, to your potential students? Yeah. Um, girlfriends? Okay, let's start from there. <laughs> so shout out to all the girls who, you know, Make my day. Hmm. And, That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> and shout out to, you know, all the ones who still make my day. Hmm. I love you in advance. And yeah, to my potential students, you know, feel free to hit me up anytime. We have a school coming. Uh, it's going to be called Wow Sounds. Hmm. Uh, you know, from anywhere in the world that you're watching this and feel free to reach out to us. I'm sure my social media something is showing on the screen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, do well too. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to their channel. Please be yeah. saying, subscribe to my channel. You ain't got no choice but to hit, hit the subscribe Yeah, so button. be good to yourself. You know, be good to your, the people around you. I was expecting a, an inspirational quote. Um, no. quote like, no. believe in yourself. Don't believe in there yourself. There is nothing you cannot do. No. There when are so things, many when, things when that things, you cannot do. <laughs> when things if go I, hard, yeah. that is when it's about to be good. Yeah, that, when you that's, cry, that part is true. Something good is coming. No, not all the time when you cry. I'm but just saying. Like, when things go bad, sometimes, it's because something good is around the corner. You heard from him. Yeah. That was right. Yeah.
Yeah. Thank you very much for gracing my show. I got you. Yo, thank you. And we're going to be doing this again in his studio. So stay tuned. Look out for this episode. Shall I tell Shall I tell him. Shall yeah. saying that thing. We're yeah. doing this again in yeah. his studio. Yeah, I have to say that. <laughs> and I'm going to be dropping a song with Chris Beat. Do you know who Chris Beat is? Uh, do, you, do you know? And I'm making a song with him. Like. I don't blow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>